It all starts at the primitive mouth of a five-week-old embryo. At the location of the future dental arches, the epithelium of the primitive mouth is called odontogenic epithelium. Under this odontogenic epithelium, the mesenchyme is turned into ectomesenchyme, arising from neural crest cells. The odontogenic epithelium then sends induction messages that convert the neural crest cells into odontogenic cells. Then, by shift of the mitotic spindles of the basal cells, the odontogenic epithelium proliferates and then becomes invaginated, forming a U-shaped band known as the primitive epithelial band. This primitive band bifurcates into a primary dental lamin on the inside and a vestibular lamina, which will eventually form the vestibular mucosa on the outside. It is on this dental lamina that the teeth will form. For this to happen, dental placodes will appear, inducing the formation of dental buds. The ectomesenchyme then sends signals that trigger localized cell proliferation. The bud thus turns into a dental cap. This cap is formed around the dental papilla. It is surrounded and protected by the dental follicle. The germ of each deciduous tooth is thus formed with a certain time lag. After this, we reach the bell stage. The tooth gem increases in volume and expands while creating the future enamel dentin junction. Finally, the coronal dentin and enamel of the tooth are progressively formed along the cusp slopes. <laughs>